Good evening, YouTube. Chewy here in the pod for Rover Build Part 9. So let's hop right into it. We're going to program the Hobby King Radio for mixing. Hopefully, for the amusement of the YouTube audience. Okay, so step one is we go to hobbyking.com and we click on the radios and we select the the T6 radio that we purchased, purchased earlier. And we'll just scroll down into the files tab right there and under the files section we are looking for software USB driver settings included and this will download the file we'll save that it is a zip file it will need to be unzipped I'm assuming you can take care of that Okay, next place we're going to go is fingertextrobotics.com. This is a great parts resource, and they also sell the same radio if uh, Hobby King is ever out of stock. So we're just going to go to the radio equipment tab here. Here's the radio. It's exactly the same. It might come with a lanyard. But what we're looking for is under the programming cable. We're going to uh, use the Viper Mixed R2 configuration file. So we'll just click on that. And save that. Okay, so here's the folder I created earlier. We'll click on the unzip file. And we'll click on a T6 configure.exe. Allow it to install viruses on your computer. It's going to be using the uh, after installing the T6 software, we'll go to the uh, USB drivers and we will install the driver for the USB programming dongle. the driver for the Silicon Laboratories CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer. Installation completed successfully. Brilliant. So now we'll plug the programming cable into ye olde USB port. And hopefully, uh, Windows will take care of the rest of the magic. Uh, now, as an aside, this is running Windows 7. Uh, I have run this with Windows XP with much success. Uh, I've had kind of hit and miss with Windows 7. Uh, so if you're running anything else, best of luck. So now I will plug the radio. into the programming thingy and I will again use my 12 volt battery to power the radio I'll switch the radio on and hopefully when I click on the uh, T6 icon it will magically just work. You can see if I move the stick the uh, on-screen representation moves as well. So channel 1, channel 2. This is actually set up for a dual rate right now if I click the switch up there, you'll see that the full stick throw only moves the slider a much smaller amount. So this is a very feature packed radio, it can do a lot. Uh, the only kind of pain is that you do have to have a computer to program it, so uh, at something like an event, uh, you'll have to bring a laptop or similar. 
But now let's set this radio up for mixing, and that was the purpose of going to the finger tech. So what we'll do is we'll click on the open button, and we'll click on the uh, Viper mixed R2 file that we saved earlier, and open it. Alright, so now you'll see that when I move the stick that both the channel 1 and 2 sliders move forward, backwards. And depending on left or right, you'll see the... Uh, now, I believe this switch will have no effect. So that is the easiest way I have found to program the mix is just to um, borrow from Curtis. Uh, there are lots of features. You can do dual rates. There's a mix. There's endpoint settings. There's reverse on some of the channels. Um, but this is the easiest way I have found to get started. And once you have it working, you can dial the settings around to your uh, robot's content. But uh, that is the, uh, the down and dirty way to get rolling. So now that we have this set up for mixing, we have the speed controllers in hand. Uh, next installment, we'll show how to wire the speed controllers, and we'll get the thing actually moving. So until then, righto oot! Do-boo-do-do-boo-do-do-boo-do-do. Do-boo-do-do-boo-do-do-boo-do-do.